Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. You might have found that transactions magically appear in undeposited funds, but you're not sure how they got there. I thought I'd just take a minute and show you how things end up in undeposited funds. There's really two primary ways. There's a sales receipt, and then there's an invoice that got paid. Let me start with the sales receipt. I'm going to click on plus new and then go down to sales receipt. When you fill out the sales receipt, you're going to fill it out just like you normally would. If you're not sure how, I've got videos on it. But down here, when it says deposit to, you have the option to say this money is going to go directly in the checking account or for reasons it needs to go into undeposited funds. A quick side note here, it's generally called undeposited funds, but for a few people, for no good reason that I can tell, Intuit renamed it from undeposited funds to payments to deposit. So when you're looking at this, if you see payments to deposit, it's the same thing. So if you want to add something to undeposited funds, you'll just select deposit to undeposited funds. Let me go ahead and cancel this. The second method is when you're marking an invoice as paid. The way that you can do that, there's lots of ways to get here, is you can click on plus new in the upper left hand corner. Under the customer's heading, you can go to receive payment. You're going to receive payment on an invoice. An invoice is outstanding. Your marking is paid. You'll enter your customer payment date, all this stuff. The key is the deposit to. When the deposit to says undeposited funds, that means that the money you're recording is going to be logged in undeposited funds rather than being logged directly into the checking account. I want to take you to undeposited funds and show you how you can tell where did the money come from. I'm going to click on plus new in the upper left hand corner. On the right hand side, I'm going to go to bank deposit. When I'm looking at bank deposit, I have the list of the things that are undeposited funds. But over here where it says type, this tells me what it was. It was a payment, also known as plus new receive payment, or it was a sales receipt. I understand that I'm used to looking here and you might not be. A shortcut, if you'd like one, is you can just click on the client name. Whatever name shows up here, if you click on it, it's not going to take you to the history of that client. It's going to take you to the exact transaction. So you can be like, oh, right, that's the receive payment or demo customer, right? Same customer, different thing. When I click on it in the upper left hand corner, it's going to say sales receipt. So you're like, oh, it's the sales receipt. So hopefully this helps you understand how stuff gets in here. And when you're looking at it, how you can tell what is the source of it. You may never care why it comes in here. It just happens every so often. I'll talk to a client and they'll be like, but why? Where did it come from? So I thought I'd make a video. All right. Any questions, leave them down below. I don't know what you don't know, so I want to make videos that are helpful. Okay, thanks. Bye.